Hi everybody, it's I use Juchok from MetaMouth Modders and I'm gonna show you how to do the single person duplication glitch on Castle Miner Z. So let's get to it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go play online, offline, whichever you're gonna do. Um let's do this in free build I guess. And I'm just gonna start on a new world. You can choose one of your worlds, whichever you want. Once the game loads, you're gonna uh want, the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna want to mine like you know tree get some kind of a uh, wood just get like you're gonna want to get like four logs maybe I think actually three will work you can get like three four logs doesn't matter I'm gonna go with three just to make this video shorter um so you, once you get your uh, three logs you're gonna uh, want to uh, pull out your compass and uh, once you get your compass out, you're gonna uh, walk straight towards the green arrow, and you're gonna keep walking until you get to 3,000 distance. And uh, or just you know keep walking through, you know, you're gonna eventually hit the mountains and then the and sand and all that other stuff, you know. And uh, you're gonna keep walking and walking and walking. So let's speed this up right through here. Okay, uh, now that we've made it out here, uh, we are at 3,000 around 300 and some distance. 300,300. There's gold ore, there is coal ore, there is... God dang, there's even copper ore. There's every single pretty much kind of ore out here. Um, well, there is every single kind of ore, except for bloodstone, I guess, if you count that as ore that's down there. But technically, that is out here. But first thing you want to do when you get out here is you want to pull out your so-called iron your stone pickaxe I guess you're gonna wanna mine iron and coal okay now once you got your full iron you're gonna wanna uh, go to your coal or your iron whatever and you're gonna make wanna make two iron bars you should take all your coal and iron to do that um, after you do that you're gonna want to go to uh, your uh, wood on your log and you're gonna make all of it into wood that should give you 12 wood after your 12 wood you're gonna create more and you're gonna make a crate um, and your crate right here your crate is your most important item you need to keep this with you at all times unless you're setting it down after you're setting, done setting it down you're gonna need it again um, so what we're going to do again is we're going to get now we're going to get another four iron ore. We need four of four of the item, four iron ore. Mm -hmm. Okay, now once you got four more iron ore, as you can see in my inventory right here, four iron ore. You're going to want to take your crate and you're going to set it down. And uh might as well get two coal right now, I guess. So you're going to want to get 4 iron ore and 2 coal. Just make it a lot easier. Um, uh, and you're going to go in your crate and this is how you do the duplication glitch. You're going to want to do this. Mm 
You keep those two right there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna need four coal. What am I saying? You're gonna need two iron ore and four coal. So, as you can see right here, I got my two iron ore and my four coal. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, this whole video is gonna show you three things. The best place to get your ore, the fastest way to get a bloodstone pickaxe, and the duplication glitch, which you're all here for the duplication glitch. So let's get into this. So, to do the duplication glitch, you're gonna hold, you're gonna put your uh, highlighter over whatever item you're gonna duplicate, it doesn't matter what it is first, but you have to have four of the item, that's the most important thing. Remember, you have to have four of the item to do it. So you're gonna press right on your up thumb stick once your item is highlighted. Highlighted. It should start over from like one, as you can see, and go all uh, go up to four. Once you do that, you're gonna click in the right thumb stick a few times, and it should start duplicating. It may take a few tries. I was just lucky, I guess, and got that one right away. Um, and then you can go up to 64 if you want, and then uh, you can move that into your inventory. And then you can actually go back over this and you don't ha you don't have to click in you just have to hold up on your right thumbstick after you uh, duplicated the first time and you'll be able to duplicate over and over again now for the coal it's the same thing you're gonna hold up on the right thumbstick and you're gonna click in a few times I recommend keep clicking twice and then wait in a second if it doesn't duplicate then click twice again and wait a second and you may have to click three times or you may not you know just it just depends I guess so once you get your uh, your uh, uh, iron and a uh, Coal duplicated. You can, you know, get as much as you need, much as you want. Doesn't really matter. Um, you can also duplicate, I guess, torches if you wanted. I'm just gonna set a torch down right over here. Um, and uh, now you want to go to your this. You want to go to your uh, iron ore, and you want to make two iron bars. And you're gonna want to go to the rest of your wood, and you want to uh make sticks out of your wood. You don't need to make on both wood, just one wood. You're going to want to go to your wooden sticks. You might want to make your iron pickaxe. So you have now moved from iron, uh, from stone pickaxe to iron pickaxe. And you can see about my stone pickaxe is pretty much almost all the way used. So we can move that out of the way. Now, I got my iron pickaxe. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to uh, if you can remember where your crate is, you can just leave it right there, or you can pick it up and take it with you. It doesn't matter. Um, you're gonna want to get gold ore. You're gonna find four gold ore. There's actually one gold ore back there. I'm just gonna go up here and look for it. You're gonna need a total of four gold ore. Remember, four of the item to duplicate. Okay, gold ore usually is uh, near. Uh, Areas kind of like this where there's a ledge and uh, like mo most most flat area. Usually there's gold area around these areas. Um, right here, see there's gold area right here. See right here, some more gold ore. There's actually a good amount of gold ore right here. You know, next one of these ledges again right here. Okay, now that I got my gold ore, um, I'm gonna need to also uh, I'm gonna need to get back to my crate. So let's hurry up and get there. Um, quick note: I, I fell down here. Um, and if you fall down here, uh, what you want to do is you're gonna want to go to under one of these things. You're gonna press Start, Teleport, and you're gonna teleport to Surface. And you should be up here. Not that hard. Um, if you do forget where your crate is and you actually go backwards, uh, according to your compass, you will be able to find it. My crate's right over here, actually, so, you know, right there. It's a good example. Oh my god, he got online. Get rid of my videos. Okay. Um, once you get back to your crate, you're gonna go in your crate, and of course, you're gonna put your gold on in there. And again, we're gonna hold up on the right thumbstick, and you're gonna click in a couple times. Maybe three times, maybe four times, I don't know. How many times does it take until it starts du duplicating? Hold up on the right thumbstick and click in. Um, and then, again, you can just hold up on the right thumbstick on the item, and it should start duplicating once you've duplicated it the first time. So now, once we got our gold ore, um, we're going to need to uh, go to.
to our um, gold and we're going to make two gold bars we're going to make three iron bars one, two, three, you can see it down here in your corner two gold bars and three iron bars, you can press Y on that and you can go down and make your gold pickaxe and it, um, you can see uh, my stone pickaxe then my iron pickaxe, my stone was almost all the way used then my iron pickaxe shouldn't take much and your gold pickaxe um, a quick note, if you, uh, it'd probably be best if you picked up your crate when you go in case you die. And make sure you keep it in your inventory in this area right here, in case you die. Uh, once you get your, uh, gold ore, this gold ore right here, I don't know why I didn't get that, um, once you get your, gold, uh, your uh, uh, gold pickaxe, you're gonna wanna mine diamond. Diamonds is what you need next. And diamonds are, will actually admit, are not the easiest to find out here. They're never the easiest to find anywhere, um, but uh, they are not as hard as digging underground for an hour. Because I remember one time when I was like, I didn't even know about this place, and I dug for literally like two hours. In two hours, I found two diamonds, and I was with a friend mining this stuff. So you know, it probably be best to come out here. See, I just found diamonds again. The bad part of this is you're gonna need four diamonds. But the bad part of it is the four diamonds, but the good part of it is not too hard to find out here. Diamonds diamonds are like they're not like on the edge like uh gold and stuff. It's always usually near edges and stuff. Um but uh diamond can be anywhere. I have no idea where diamond can be. It's right here, see? It's a guessing game. Usually there's one diamond next to each other. You're lucky if you find a patch of three diamond. Holy crap, I am lucky if you find a patch of three. Okay. Now I actually got five diamond. I don't know why I got five diamond. Once you get all your diamond, um, you're going to want to get back to your crate. Oh, there's more diamond right there. There's actually a lot of diamond around here, I guess. But remember, uh, diamond is a guessing game. But it doesn't mean you always find it, but you know. Yeah, it's always around here. Now, once you get back to your crate, yeah, put your diamond in there. And, I guess for the fourth time, you're going to hold up on the right thumbstick. And I think personally, I'm gonna say this real quick. I think the higher the number, uh, maybe a little harder to duplicate, or not. Um, <laughs> but uh, once you get uh, your diamond, you're gonna duplicate it once more. And uh, again, once you duplicate it, you can just go right back to the item and hold up on the right thumbstick. Um, and just because I'm, you can duplicate these again if you needed to, you know whatever you need. Um, and uh, once you get your diamond, you're going to want to go to your gold ore. That's why I'm going to make one, make three gold gold bars. And then you're going to go Y on your diamond, and you're going to make your diamond pickaxe. Okay, um, uh, sorry everybody, but I'm going to have to make this video uh, in short. Unfortunately, it would be like a 17 minute video. I don't know why I do that. I'll just make a 3 minute video next time. But, um, you know, technically, after you got your diamond pickaxe, you go mine blood, blood to stone, make your bloodstone pickaxe, and then, you know, teleport to start and build whatever you like. But, um, you know, uh, so I had to end it short. Um, we'll have more videos and tutorials like this coming out soon. Um, you know, just stay posted, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you. And actually, I'll actually make a shorter video tomorrow. It'll be three minutes, I swear to God. It'll be, like, shorter. So it'll be ten times easier. So... And I'll put it up actually uh put a link in the description or something or you know, something you can click on for a shorter video. But you know, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.